Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a wig from Paula Young's discount wig line. That is The Wig Shop and her name is Eden. So stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today's wig is going to be a wig from Wig Shop. This is the discount line of Paula Young and it can only be found online. She is a curly long bob and I could not find any pictures of her in a catalog, but I could find her in the uh, on the computer. And so this is her picture right here. I'm sorry for the reflection, there you go. That's Eden. And I ordered her in the color Iced Coffee. That's 2414. Now that's the same color as um, another color name in Polly Young's line. And that is Mocha Frost. The same 2414. And uh, the colors are very, very similar. They're very similar. But they might look a little bit different just because of the style the style that she has. Okay, so let's talk about her. I got her out of the box. She's really, really full. Look at this. This is a full wig style. She came with a zigzag um, hair, hair part, but I've already brushed through with my brush to activate the, the uh, permatees and to lift all of the permatees, the hairs off of the cap. Let's look at her cap construction. So what we have is an open cap construction, which is going to make her feel very cool when you wear her. She's got a nice wide band in the front hairline area to reduce any itchiness. We have open ear tabs with stitching of the hair fibers on the underneath side of the ear tabs. They do have um, a metal stay. It's a very weak metal stay. We have lots of open wefts. Now you'll notice that this girl has um, some larger spacing between the, the rows of curtains. And so, uh, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much for this part of the hair of the wig because she's so full and she's very, very curly. You aren't gonna see any wefts in this area. We have Velcro adjusters on both the right and left. And our nape area is a standard one half inch nape with the velveteen fabric on it. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look. Now the coloring, let's, I just happened to notice this right along the hairline. You can see the differences in color variation that they put in to this particular color mix. So that's really nice to see on an inexpensive wig. Now, one thing you have to remember about wig shop wigs is that they are not returnable for refund. If you purchase these wigs, you can get a credit, but you cannot get your refund. So you have to remember that when you're purchasing from the wig shop. Another thing to remember is that any of the promo codes or discounts that Paula Young offers on their wigs, such as, you know, 25% off this or whatever that, 20, whatever, um, they will not apply to any of the wig shop wigs. So you have to keep that in mind. The only thing it's going to be is just a cut and dry $29.99 for this wig. So if you um, don't mind that option, then wig shop's a good place for you to shop. And uh, so now I can tell you right away that the, um, the cap is very, very loose. At least the elastic, it has a tendency to, um, you can see how it's already kind of loose. It's loose and uh, so... I don't know what what's that for. And the wefts are not stitched in there real tightly or evenly. So, um, but it looks like it's made that way because there's a row of loose curtain here, another row of loose curtain here, another row of loose curtain, and another row of loose curtain. And it seems like it's every fifth row or so. But, you know, maybe that's part of their manufacturing process. I am not sure. So let's go ahead. Now I got this all lifted up with my brush to get this on here. And I can tell you right now, these fibers, um, they feel okay. They're, I, I think they're right up there with some of the ones that we found on Amazon. Um, and being that I have an Amazon wig on right now, these fibers feel differently than these. Um, but you know, we've got different manufacturers. 
this. Um, we'll just see how they work. Okay, let me go ahead and switch these girls out. Okay. Well, I can tell you that the cap feels small. It's a little on the small side. And um, where she wants to part, I don't know. We'll just have to play around with it and see what, what we can make her do. I think she is willing to part wherever you want. And um, it's just going to take some working with. And that's, that's the case with a lot of these um, really wavy, big, curly uh, wigs that have no bangs or no... no um, no lace front, they're just a standard cap. So what we're gonna try and do is create the illusion of a side swept bang. Okay, and we've already got, now you tell me, how are the wefts looking through, through this? Let's see, we've got there, can you see that? I'm hoping, that that's a little closer. All right. So we're going to need to train her. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hair dryer to this part. Let me let me take a look at anywhere else that I might want her to part. Okay. And then finger combing her so I can get some of the the def definition of those waves again. I kind of like I kind of like what she's doing here on this side. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll spray her with some water, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna try and impress, do something with this right here. Okay, so that's pushing that a little bit up and off of my forehead, but I'm going to need to direct it across my forehead now. Now let's see, I think I'm gonna use a little water. Let's see about putting some of the definition back in. I do that frequently with some of these really wavy wigs. I'll brush them out and then I'll spray them with water. Okay, so how do you like this color um, mocha, iced, iced mocha or iced coffee? That's what this one is called. It's the other Paula Young brand, uh, line is um, mocha frosted. And this is iced coffee, but they're the same numbers, 24 slash 12, 24 slash 14, whatever that is. <laughs> anyway, okay, so the, what this is, it's a very ashy, ashy colored blonde, almost looks like a gray undertone, and that's what gives it that ash look. So I think what she's doing right now is actually not too bad. She's very full. Let me do a spin, okay? So... Really bouncy curls, lots of them. And if you're used to having a lot of fullness, this is not a bad wig, actually. I know I can't speak for the fibers. I don't know how long they're gonna last and what they're gonna look like after wearing and you know handling for a while. So we'll just have to, you would have to play by ear, but for $29.99, that's really not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, I would probably say for myself, this is not the right color for me and for my skin undertones. Um, even though I do have, um, I have cool undertones, this is not the right color for me. Um, but unless I change my makeup and, uh, you know, my, my foundation color and um, whatever color I'm using for lipstick, uh, that might change. But there you go. Now let's take a look again. Is she showing any wefts in that respect? And how does that hairline look? Actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. All right, so it's got a shorter, a shorter bang area. All right, let's, let's talk about the dimensions. All right, the um, front is six and a half, so this little, part right here is six and a half inches. The top and the crown are both nine and a half inches. The upper back is eight and three quarters inches. The sides are seven and a half inches. So we've got this shoulder length bob. I feel like Shirley Temple. <laughs> Just, wow. Yeah. 
it feels kind of nice, you know, actually. And, and, you know, she looks a lot like some of Paula Young's other wigs in her normal line. And so um, I wouldn't do anything more to this, you know, in this respect. You know, maybe, maybe I might add a clip or something that pulled it up in a way a little bit. Maybe something kind of fancy. But if I was doing work around, you know, on a desk, um, this would fall in my face a little bit. And I might be tempted just to take it and uh, clip it back. Just, you know, however I needed to have it. Let's see. I've got a little clip right here. Let's see what this would look like. Just having that, a simple clear. Well, that, that wouldn't be too bad. This falling in front. And then of course, I would probably blend some color in on my, on my natural hairline so that it would look a little bit more natural. So, so what are your thoughts about this young lady? This is the first time I've done a wig shop wig, I think. And, um, I'm a little surprised, you know, she doesn't seem too bad, but the, the, I will tell you the fibers feel a little more plasticky. Um, not quite, um, not quite as realistic as some of the other fibers that, that we've uh, seen in our other wigs. But this is a, you know, for a quick and easy, very inexpensive treatment, I'll bet you there are some beautiful colors available if, if you can find them and take the time to look for them. So this is all I'm going to do with her. I think we could probably pull her up, couldn't we? Yeah, we could probably pull up, you know, and make some of these uh, curls look a little different. Let's see. Oh, well, I don't know. Pulling those curls up in the back. How's that look? It was a very quick application, but I'm not sure if that's gonna look right. But I would need somebody to help me do that. You want to help me do that? <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for Eden today. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope this was helpful, especially introducing the wig shop line. Um, very inexpensive, um, maybe a good place to begin with. But, you know, honestly, um, with the differences in the cap construction, this feels very uh, uneven um, where, you know, uniformly the cap would fit a around your head. I'm feeling it tight around the circumference and really loose in certain places and not very lengthy. Um, I, it, there's, there's reasons why um, this cap and this wig is going to be a lot less expensive. And I would not, I would hope that people would not interpret what they find in this line a, a true representation of um, what you can find in the main line of Polly Young um, and uh, other wig companies because um, they're just that the quality isn't there per se. But for for the right situation, they'd be the perfect wig. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a great week. We'll talk to you again later in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye bye.